Hey guys, it's David. We're back at the Sunder Paradise. And today uh, we're going to be doing something. We're making a dye farm. I already got it laid out 11 by 12. And uh, we're going to get the building blocks in here. This is a shulker craft design. So we're going to lay this out. I made this farm before on another server. It's actually uh, quite, quite easy to set up as you will soon see. We all enjoyed the uh, video I made last time of the end. Yeah, I did a lot of editing on that. A little bit of a montage of uh, me traveling in the end. Should be this. where the pistons are going to go. Only downside of this is uh, just how good this this efficiency uh, pick is. That's not. There we go. Put that down. Boom. Both sides, and what this is going to do is going to ch -ch 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 -ch. basically uh, push these back and forth. And we're going to make a little gap here for them to be pushed. No block observer. Get a redstone. This is, of course, going to power the pistons. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. No block observer. We gotta find the middle here. Should be right here. No, right here. And we're gonna get it to get two down. Oh, I gotta make a dispenser. All right, boop. Dispenser is in place. Let's see. Spread that up. And we're going to have to dig down here. Now what we're going to do... Inward facing dispenser. Upward facing dispenser. And that's basically uh, going to be like a clock, essentially. Cover that up so it's not going to create, nothing's going to spawn. We're going to put some bone meal in here so this will lead out that way we can feed bone meal to the system got some stuff right here dang a little bit too much maybe let's feed that in here we are going to 
Now, fill this in. Uh, get the fence gate. And now, starting it, all we gotta do is hit this. Anyway, hit the wrong side. And there we go. Look at this one go. It's probably a little noisy. We can turn that volume down a little bit on our end. Or maybe I should just... It's actually pretty easy to stop and then you just hit this. Not quite sure you stop it, to be honest. Thought you just hit that note block and stop, but that'll work too. And look, let's look at all this stuff I got. Look at all the dye. I got blue dye, red dye, yellow dye, white dye. Tons of axolotl daisies. Azurbalettes, I think, actually give me light gray. Do these give me white? No, light gray as well. You know, tons of seeds, which can be used to make, uh, can be used to make bone meal. But the corn flowers, one of the main things I want to get is corn flowers for blue dye. So I don't have to use any of my lapis. We've got the yellow dandelions. we got more red. I've got more poppies than I know what to do with. Because they come from the iron farm, but look at this. Boom. Done and done. It's really that simple. And let's take a look over here. We got the item sorter. I don't know if I've shown this on camera yet, but this is my item sorter. We've got a water stream moving in. As you can see, the items flowing here are coming from my mop farm. They'll move down into these chests. So far, nice set of items coming through. I don't think that second chest is filled up yet, but. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of drops coming in from that mob farm. gonna put right now all of my flowers in here that we can use to make dye for later and we'll be done with that I gotta expand this even more like I thought like all right too that that'll be pretty good for a lot of the big stuff but man there's a lot of items in this game you see they went right into the item sorter from the from this area. Other thing I need to do is hook up the iron farm to this. Other thing I set up is uh, a drop off. This will feed down into the item sorter. As you can see. Roses should pop out, carry down the water stream. And there they go. They see them coming to the chest and they're, they're immediately Kind of fed down into the other chest. Nifty new thing I added in. I gotta figure out where this water stream is. And it's right there. Which is kind of annoying. Because I need to, I have to get the water stream to go like around this. I 
Hmm. Let me see. Straight line may not be the best. Uh... Straight line would take it right in line with this plank here. I got an interesting conundrum here. Because I could run water stream and try to connect up and dump it into this water stream. Or I could just run a water stream to here and have it drop into this hopper. At which point it would be picked up and then hit into the dispenser. I'm not sure why some of these why some of these things are getting carried or getting stuck there. So now I got two problems. Like one, I gotta figure out what's causing these roses to get stuck. Okay, I don't know if it's a lot. It's like a whole stack of them. Those go down easy enough. But yeah, I see a few of them get caught. And that's bizarre. I wanna try something. thought is that if I have this here, all right, the water stream is going to kind of like move it to the left, which is going to try and keep it out of the depressions and hopefully make it better. We can test because I've got... Dirt's gonna immediately be picked up with the. Uh, I think it's something further down. Floats up. Does get moved more to the side. Kind of aligned on the side by that. All right, that worked out actually. I'm gonna go try it. Let me grab a stack of poppies from the farm and uh, see if that will work. Oh, we did have one block get stuck. Whatever it's because like the downward trajectory of the water stream that's causing it to cause it just be like fall right into that crevice. What honey? Now, honey isn't a full block tall, or isn't like a full block. So that'll even cause stuff to, ah, oh, shoot. It slows the stuff down though. And they're getting stuck on there. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna 
one thing I could do is maybe just let it spit the stuff out further. That way the stuff that gets shot out directly and doesn't go into the stream has a chance. Stuff that goes straight, you just keep getting keep getting stuck in these streams. And I'm not sure what to do about that. Stop that guy though. And that worked better. But you still saw where they can get they still can get caught. The item frame doesn't really like prevent. I think that's what needs to be done. We gotta move it up. Give the stream an opportunity to push it to the side. It's not like getting, it's not shooting it straight down. The second it like gets off the wall, it's gonna come off and it's not gonna go down like quickly. So I am a little concerned that some of them are getting caught up there. I think some of them are getting stuck on top. Wow, not a single one got stuck. That's pretty amazing. I also want to check to make sure everything's going to be working at the dispenser. Since this appears to, since this is one higher, I think it's going to work. So we only had a few poppies get stuck there, which is much better. The thing I didn't consider is turning the thing around. Like if I could put the dropper, see if I do that, I can't feed it. Be able to feed a hopper into it. But if if I put it here, all righty. We gotta test the new and improved new improved item sorting system. Let's go. So this should be shooting it to the other side. Instead of like nothing going straight into That's fine, that's fine. If they get stuck there, that's fine. Because they'll eventually get picked up and go down. Look at that. Fantastic. That is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Nothing. Nothing getting stuck. These things are just like blazing into it which is fine, which is absolutely great because they're gonna hit the wall by getting aligned to the wall. And that should prevent 
them from getting stuck at all. So as long as these things get on the wall of the water stream, I don't have to worry about them, uh, them getting stuck. And of course, the whole thing that triggered this It's working. Haha, <laughs> it's working. My iron farm is hooked up. Yes. It's hooked up, it's hooked up. Holy moly, that was a task. So, originally, we had the dispenser over here, or right in the center. It was shooting out the center. Okay, this led to some problems because unfortunately with the way the hitboxes or hoppers work, it can be easy for them to get stuck. As demonstrated right here with this iron ingot first try. And that was the issue with the iron. It was getting stuck on the sides, you know, in the center here, or any basically anything that went into this dropper. Uh, it was actually a dispenser. I don't know why I put a dispenser instead of a dropper. Uh, luckily, I didn't use any arrows or fire charges, or I'm not sure what other destructive things uh, you can shoot out of a dispenser, but that wouldn't have worked out if I did that. So we switch it to a dropper, but we tried a few different things to try and center it to the side. At the end of the day, the only thing that I could figure out to get this to work was to actually have it shoot at the sides. Cause I mean, if it shoots right at the wall, it's gonna align on the wall because there's just no way to get it just while it was shooting straight. It could go left, it could go right, it could go center. With this, it's always gonna hit against this wall. It's gonna sink down. As you just saw it right there, it shot against the wall for the iron farm. The iron farm is heat. We got the iron farm here. Put some glass on top of this. I think it looks nicer that way. We could, but we can see the stream going underneath the house. It's gonna come from here, from the iron farm. You can even see there's one burning right now. That's dead. So we should see some iron coming down right here. Some ingots. We get caught there. They'll sink down. They'll go through here. And then you hear the dropper going off because it basically, let me see, you might be able to see it better actually from, from the inside. It gets over here. There's a, gets uh, fed to a hopper.
basically the hopper on one of the hoppers on this line. I think it's that one right there. It goes into that, which feeds it into the hopper line, which will feed it into the dropper to get shot out. There it is working again. It goes in. So all of this goes straight down into the iron area. Guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of the Sundered Paradise. I'll leave you with this beautiful shot of my item sorter doing its job. Bye now.